What is going on? Put the gun down! Now! Put the gun down! This is Recon 1. If you're receiving this transmission, Test 48 did not go as planned. Today with energy giant we have Japan. Japan. When he claimed he was ousted without warrant. Wow. The privately held companies are taking a chance now. We're taking a moment. That the company is expanding its biofuel development program to include military operations. <laughs> Protests mount over UltraCore's closed door policy over its military applications for its one time safe energy program. That's right. And now we're getting a public backlash against it. And it just doesn't make any sense. UltraCore is up to $89. A spokesman for UltraCore insists that the break in resulted in the loss of only non essential files. Take the money, right? And nobody knows what to do. No, we have no sign. Federal investigation has cleared Ultracore of all charges. 
finding no substantiating evidence of wrongdoing. No, no, but it does. It exists. We have CN4. UltraCore has been unusually silent on the accusations of testing outside of the United States. No comment seems to be UltraCore's new slogan. Can I get you something, darling? Yes, uh, just an orange juice. Thank you. That'll be two dollars, straight up. But they don't mind to have Bobby? Oh, no, really. It's OK. Just do it. I mean it now. Easier than arguing with him. Thank you. You're not from around here, are you? No. Uh, I'm from California. Cali. Yeah, Los Angeles? San Francisco. Good. I like them LA girls much. All that attitude. I don't appreciate a real gentleman. I'll buy you another if you tell me your name. Dr. Miller? You made it here fast. Where you are? Alistair Corps. Sophie Miller. I'm very glad to finally meet you. I'm Tucker. I was talking here. First. Well, thanks for keeping your company. I'll take it from here, my friend. Let's have a little dance, shall we? You want to dance with me? My kind of woman. You got no manners, Tuck. We always interrupting the fun. These here new friends of mine should be respectful, <laughs> clear. <laughs> clear as whiskey. I'll say goodbye. Nice to meet you, y'all. Will Kane. I'm your charter. Greetings, everyone. On behalf of Altracor, I thank you for joining this mission. Sophie, this is Alan Thurston, our IT specialist. Tech officer. Rachel is reconnaissance and rescue with me. Ex-military, right? Where'd you serve? She only talks when needed. Ideal girlfriend, right? And you, Miss Miller? What's your deal? Dr. Miller. She's our medical officer. We recently lost communication with our recon team. They were stationed here, on Mare Island, 30 miles west. The island has become Altracor's principal testing ground. What were they testing? Their campsite is here, no longer in communication. The area is a no-fly zone, and radio contact is murky at best. The island is covered in heavy foliage, but is nearly devoid of all wildlife. Our mission is a simple search and rescue up. Sweep the island and locate the missing team. If that fails, we are to recover any data that may explain what happened. Alan, that's you. Fails? It's a little grim, isn't it? I want to find survivors. That's why you're here. But the mission comes first. Mr. Kane will be transportation to and from the island. You all know the rest. We start at first light, so make sure you get some sleep.
Hello there, Missy. <laughs> we, uh, we never did get to finish that yet. Not now. I'm going to bed. Well, hold, hold on now. I just want to talk. But, uh, when you said that about the bed, it got me a little excited. You want to see? <coughs> Don't you push me away. You're in no condition to use that thing, Tuck. And I don't mean the knife. Go home, Tuck, before I call your wife. Wow. Well, I don't know what to say. Thank you. Don't thank me. I just don't want to lose my new job before I even get paid. Any room left for the rescuees? Altracor doesn't travel lightly. Permission to come aboard, Captain? The boat's at the end of the dock, Doc. Well, good morning to you, too. Sorry. I slept like crap. It shows. Aspirin. I get headaches. Want some?
Ray. Where's the concierge? Not so fast, Star Trek. You want to give this hand to your stuff? We'll make base camp here. Ellen, you and Dr. Miller set up your station. Rachel and I will take the first trip to the Mitchell camp. We stay in communication. Here. When you need me. What is that? I expect tribal drums to sound now. Don't touch it. Looks fresh. Two, maybe three days old. Is that oil? Better question is, who did this? They're like scarecrows. Or scare something. It's a warning. What happened to no wildlife? Birds come on the wind. It looks like organic deterioration, but I've never seen anything like this. Once I get set up, I can run a few tests. That's no bird, Ray. Alan, stay here. Help Dr. Miller with anything she needs. Not a problem. Yeah, before it gets dark. The boss has my number. Well, I guess I'll see you when I see you. Yeah. I hope you find your team. Hey, could you help me with this?
Mitchell! He's gone, Ray. Stay here. Hey, wait! Don't leave me here! Man. Mitchell. It's me. Raymond. You. I know you. I know you. What the hell's wrong with him? Mitchell, just calm down. We're here to rescue. Leave. We have to leave. Hold on. It's out there. Here. Everywhere! Get off! We have to get off! Mitch! What's out there? What happened here? I killed a lot of birds. But there wasn't enough. Ah! 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 It's okay! Ah! He's with ah! us! We have to get off this island. Okay, Mitch. We'll leave. But first, we need to know what happened to you. She's a doctor. She can help you. You're not listening. Mitch. Take me off this island now! <laughs> Will! It's empty. I didn't load it. That's it. We go back to the boat. We need to get this man to a hospital. You can find out whatever you want as soon as he calms down. But right now, I need to get everyone off this island. You're all my responsibility. We haven't found his partner yet, Walsh. Dead. He's dead. Everybody's dead. All right. Let's go. Sophie, you are not captain on this island. This is my mission. We stay right where we are. You want to take it to a vote? He might be right, Ray. I can care for Mitchell here. I could try and understand. All right, Sophie, Alan, take Mitchell back to camp. Rachel and I will continue the search. Will, I'd like you to stay. This is your team, clearly not mine. I'll be on the boat until you need me.
couldn't cross the trees. The crow line. You gotta be kidding me! Where the hell's your boat, man? Oh. What the hell are we gonna do now? We gotta find it! Maybe... Maybe it's around the cove. We could swim out. We're not swimming anywhere. We wouldn't last 20 minutes in that ice water. Well, Captain... What the hell was that thing? What were they doing on this island? What the hell are we really here for? Well... Well, break out the flares. You're not telling me that we're stuck here? Can we use your sat phone to send a distress signal? Yeah, now you're thinking. Let's get this working. If anyone can pick up the signal. We're in a no-fly zone. No one's listening for a radio chatter out here. There's a transmitter back at Mitchell's camp. It has a direct link to Ultracore. I'm not going back out there. It's getting dark. We're safe here. We can head out in the morning. Finish our search. Oh, your search is over. You saw what it did to your man. I'm, I'm, I'm sure his partner didn't fare any better. There's important data we need to recover, especially now. Well, what do you want to do? Just sit around and wait for a fishing boat? We're on a 48-hour schedule. No one's going to miss us for at least another 36. Look, if we get the transmitter working, we can get a rescue team out here in about 20 minutes. Seeing how things are, I don't think we have much of a choice. Nothing. Don't. Don't say a word. Just sit. Maybe it can't manifest itself in non-organic compounds. It, the sand, it, it, it's a dead zone. It can't cross the beach. Or the water. That's why Mitchell wanted to get off the island. It's trapped here. Just like us. Pretty neat, huh? Looks complicated for a, a medical doctor. Well, I wasn't sure what to bring, so I packed it all. Yeah, well, women do that. So, level with me. You know what it is they're doing out here? Not entirely. You know, some kind of biological experiment. Test 48. Ray feared the team may have contracted something, so... Well, Rachel, I guess, she's... She's like a razor, but... He brings you out here. A chauvinist, too. Wow, you have quite a resume. Oh, uh, yeah, well, I am what I am. You get what you see. Y you might not like it, but at least it's honest. But all this... All this Ray... Yeah, I'm not so sure. Add paranoid to that. These facts, Tabber, didn't make the list. Me? <laughs> you were gonna leave us all behind. 
Call me when you need me? Hey, I was there when you needed me, wasn't I? Look, forget it, lady. Doctor, I didn't sign up for this shit. There goes that family's dream of the future. Look, Will. You gotta get your head straight. This is the profession we chose. You're his commanding officer. It was your responsibility. This isn't the first time I've lost a man. It won't be the last. You seem to be looking at things differently ever since you got those bars on your shoulder. You betrayed Briggs. I got the rest of us out! Well, you should have never put us in there in the first place. We had no intel, no support. Watch yourself, soldier. You seem to be happy stepping out the ladder. Well, congratulations, Sergeant. Never mind the fact that one of your men comes home in a casket. Could have been worse. I could be at your mother's front door right now. You can thank me for that. Don't get in. Find your own ride. Jesus, Ray. Ray! What happened? It was all over him. Get away. Ray. What was it? So sorry. We should have never come here. There's no way you could have known what was out there. That's not true. Raymond. What is it, Ray? What's happening here? This whole thing's a setup. Rachel and I don't work for Alchicor. Not anymore. So, what are we doing out here then, Ray? <laughs> I used to do biotechnology research for Alchicor's Renewable Energies Division. I'm a scientist. But they cut our funding when they discovered deeper pockets. My work was taken from me. Applied in areas I never wanted to be a part of. Biochemical weapons far more advanced than germ warfare. And is that what's out there? Some kind of biochemical weapon? I don't know what it is. I don't think Alchicor does either. Something went wrong with their testing out there. Mitchell had been feeding me information for the past several months. Test 48. I knew something went wrong. I had no idea. And you dragged us all into it. I had to go back for Mitchell. 
You saw it, why? Look, whatever it is out there, that thing, it's an accident. Consequence of ill-intended actions. So now you know. I am sorry. So now what do we do? The beach isn't safe and we have no way to defend ourselves. We need Mitchell's data to see what we're up against. First, we need a weapon. And if it's organic, if it's alive in any way, then it won't like this. One little bit. All right, let's go. Make it fast. Is it workable? Don't know. There's no dish. Don't need it. Enslave it to Will's sat phone. We're good! Rachel, you and Will get back to the beach. Use the generator to power it up. Get it ready. I want to stay with the radio. I need you to get that computer. You stay here. Do what you gotta do. I'm on it. What's up? Nothing. Well, keep moving. Bingo. All right, look for test 48. I know, I know. You're receiving this transmission. Test 48 did not go as planned. This is recon one. Do not proceed. I repeat, do not proceed. Rachel. She never got that message. Okay, can we go now? I need to stop. We can't stop. We've got to keep moving. Come on. 
I'll catch up with you. I'll get some ice in the refrigerator. Be right back. Rachel! What's happening? So you think you can do it? Yeah, well, Rachel had the original chemical breakdown! Right Don't help me!
Rachel, where is she? Where is she? Where the hell is she? Something happened. What happened? She's infected! Rachel! Get off me! I got her! What was there anything I could do? She's gone, Ray. So, some kind of spray gun. Extinguisher. It works. We're not defenseless anymore. I'll get to work on Mitchell's files. See what I can learn. She's out there. Part of it. Somewhere. It'll use her to get to us here. We have to stay alert. I think he'll be all right. He brought this on himself. Get everything? Should be enough to make them think we work for Altacor. Any trouble with security? Nothing I couldn't handle. What about the files? Did you get the files? Mitchell did his part. Looks like you have a lot of reading there. I'm gonna go take a shower. <clears throat> this is, uh, this is an SOS. Please verify and respond. Over. Here. S distress beacon, pulsed intervals. Just keep the channel open so you can hear if anyone responds. But stay on it. This is an SOS, emergency. Please respond. Please. Solved yet? It seems Altricor was working on a new type of biological weapon. A living weapon. One that kills all other living things, targeting and corrupting cells like a virus. The contagion was to be controlled by an isotope similar to the substance in the spray gun. Good soldiers can move freely, bad soldiers turn black and sticky. But obviously, something went wrong. Very. The contagion didn't just corrupt the cells, it completely took them over. A living being is simply a hive of cells that work in conjunction. This contagion works the same way, only it's driven by its created purpose. And what's that to corrupt and destroy? And spread relentlessly. That about sums it up. What kind of doctor are you again? I'm a toxicologist, actually. I specialize in reverse engineering science. 
That's a pretty specific feel for a search and rescue. You've been in this from the start, haven't you? Look, I didn't know what happened here. Christ! Look, we didn't tell you for your own safety. We didn't know you'd be stuck with us. And then when Ray spoke out the other night and I saw how you reacted to him, I just... I didn't want you to think of me the same way. Alan, too? Look, we knew what Ray knew. That Altracor was testing something terrible here. Something that has to be stopped. This is exactly the kind of experimentation that cannot be allowed to continue. Someone has to take responsibility. But look at Acastia. I tried to speak up. I tried to do something. But instead I was dismissed. Kicked out so they could take my research. So they could do this. I'm sorry I got you into this, Will. But don't blame her. I hired you. And God knows I've paid a heavy price. But I have to finish this. Now more than ever. I can't let this thing win. You know, Captain Ahab said the same thing. You're pretty good at taking care of yourself, Will. But how are you at the bigger picture? You ever stood up and sacrificed for what was right? It's called a cause. Something that you believe in. Something that you fight for no matter what the cost. Because you know it's the right thing to do. I believe we're doing the right thing. And you feel you are doing the right thing by coming to me with this information? Yes, sir, I do. But the mission was successful, was it not? Not for my men, sir. Your men? You mean Sergeant Cutter's men. His mission, his call. Any ulterior motives he may have had, in your opinion, are just that. Your opinion. But, sir, he's trying to Success in this world is measured by two things. Perseverance and dedication. Are you dedicated to the cause, Private? Yes, sir, but it's not just a Do you think we are doing the right thing here? So there it is. Sergeant Cutter betrayed his men when he sent them in his- Enough! I am confronted with a dilemma here, Private. Your word against your superior officers. Yes, Sergeant Cutter's been to see me. And he's explained his actions and your reckless disregard for his orders. I will not tolerate disloyalty. Not to this army, not to our cause. You are hereby discharged, soldier. Effective immediately. Don't say something you'll regret, son. I want you on the next chopper out. Do you understand me? You are excused, civilian. What about the crows? The residue? It's completely decomposed. Dead. To reverse the process, I need a living sample. I doubt that thing's gonna be too cooperative. 
There might be something at the actual test site we can use. We have to try something. Rachel's still out there. She's not Rachel anymore. She's part of it now. Infected like Mitchell. But she's not dead. That's right. If she's been infected by it, if she's still alive, I might be able to use her blood to create an anti-serum. It could work. Mitchell listed a complete chemical breakdown, and I can use the repellent compounds from that spray gun you found. So what do you need from me, Ray? Let's go find Rachel. She's out there. Watching us. I know. Keep moving. This is it. I built a similar device based on their specs. It's a subterranean injector. It delivers the toxin to the core of the island. We should be able to reverse the process if we use an antitoxin. Well, let's keep moving then, right? Here, now we don't have to share. You see anything? Not yet. Rachel! She's not gonna kill Marie. Sorry about that. We'll set the delivery device. Be back before daybreak. Call us on this if you have a breakthrough.
I've got it. It works. You're serious? I think so. I, I used her natural antibodies to piggyback on the contagion, carrying a chemical compound similar to the repellent's molecular, like whatever. It worked in small dosage. We need a larger sample. Drop it on the enemy and hope it doesn't spread. Doesn't sound like a masterful strategy from great minds. They did plan a form of control, similar to the spray found in that gun. Soldiers would ingest a tablet, a marker, which would build up a resistance to the contagion. But all that changed. All that changed in a bad way. It's ready. Rachel. Oh, God. Rachel. What the hell? What happened? That thing. How are you feeling? Are you all right? I don't know. What the hell am I tied up for? I don't believe it. It works! <sighs> Rapid, but normal. We need some water. Ellen, untie her. I have to call Ray. He's okay? Thank God. Ellen! Bet this comes as quite a surprise right now. What are you doing? And now we're alone. Gotta admit, Doctor, I'm impressed. Didn't think you'd do it. Now, how about the rest? Oh, come on. That wasn't the full sample. You think I'm stupid? Let's go. Into the tent. Get it all. Get it. Where do you want me to look? I've got other plans, but this might come in handy. You ditched the boat. Guilty. I couldn't have anyone leaving before I was finished here. I even saved Ray's life. Needed him to complete his mission. Why? I've got my own little test to complete. Test 49. Brand new stuff. For the control group. Keeps it in check. You were never at risk. Nope. Just good acting. Now I have one final move to make. I have to set off Ray's delivery device with my own sample. It's my turn to infect. Sorry about this, doctor. Nothing personal. It's just business. Is that what I think it is? Vice Chairman, I know your time is valuable, so I'll be brief. Dr. Raymond Hua has just contacted me for an assignment. Ray's planning a little trip to Mare Island. He wants to shake things up. Not good for you, is it, Mr. Vice Chairman Wessler? I want to help, and I want UltraCore's protection. And you want money, no doubt. That would be the polite thing to do. I can subvert his operation from the inside, and I can get you what you need. 
And what is it I need? Test 49. Alan set the radio on a dead band. It's working now. The sun will be up soon. And we can finish this. Thank you. What for? Well, no one's ever saved my life before. <laughs> so. How was it? It was nice. This is ACS-1 acknowledging a distress signal on this channel. Keep copying. We're here. Hello? This is Dr. Sophie Miller. Can you hear me? Loud and clear, Dr. Miller. <laughs> oh my god, we're saved. Beacon at grid 9 or alpha. You're in a restricted zone. Prepare for evac. ETA, 20 minutes. Out. We got him. Hold on. We don't have much time to launch the test. Are you kidding? Tell the troops when they arrive. They won't understand. We have to do it now. They're going to be here in 20 minutes, Ray. And we're wasting time. Ray, we're going to be rescued. Take your fight to Ultra Corp, to the media. Tell them what happened here. You don't have to risk your own life. Risk? Look at what I've already lost. It doesn't mean anything if I don't finish what I started. What we started. Can't let you do that, Ray. Stop it! It's your fault. <laughs> Rachel! <laughs> Something worse. He's going to the test site. The troops will be here in 15 minutes. Sophie, wait here. The rescue team will be here soon. I'm going after Alan. Will, I could use your help. Yeah, you always do. Listen. Come on. This way. Come on. <laughs> you start the launch. Go after Alan. You? Go play with the locals. Well. Hey there! Rorschach! I'm over here!
know about persistence, Ray. But you need to know when to quit. Back to work. It's too late. something here. Something far more powerful than design. And now it's mine. You... you can't control it. Come to me. Come to me! I feel better. What's happening? I don't know. Come on.
safe and we are on route to distraction. You are go for air support. I repeat, you are go for air support. Under that alpha leader, be advised air support has been scrambled. One minute. Go, 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 go! We're not finished here yet. Where's Sophie? I told you. She's fine. Just fine. She's being debriefed, just like you. Debriefed? Is that what this is? Tell me again why you, why you can't let me go. Why am I a prisoner? It's a very negative way of looking at it. Well, what would you call it? Combat detainee, you've been part of a very unusual event. You must take precautions. I've told you everything. I'm not contagious. It doesn't work that way. You see, says the enemy. I don't blame you for that. If I was looking in from the outside, I might think the same thing. Somebody watching. Yeah, there always is. Whatever you believe, or think you believe, we're not the enemy. Then why are my hands tied? Where's Sophie? I want to see her! There are always sacrifices to be made in this life, Mr. Kane. For the greater good. <laughs> are you asking me to join up? Are you kidding? I won't do it. You hear me in there? I want me a part of it! I won't be a part of it! You already are. So there are no side effects? No. You're absolutely certain about that? None whatsoever. Mr. Kane has carried the contagion for over 72 hours with no adverse effects. He is completely healthy. I wasn't asking about the test subject. I was asking about the contagion. Test 49 is a success. Congratulations, Doctor.